Hey guys, it's Dr. Remmer from West Hollywood, early morning on Friday, and typically we always call Fridays filler Fridays because patients always, in case they're gonna have downtime or bruising, they usually do it on Friday. So we have one of our patients today, uh, very masculine, good looking male, that's just gonna do some enhancements. And we always talk about how this year is the year of the chin and the jawline, both for men and women. I actually did an interview yesterday for a couple uh, radio stations and a magazine about that. And here we have an example of a younger guy that just wants some structure to his face. So what we're gonna do is you can lay back and relax. We're just gonna add a small amount of filler and I like to do this slowly over time. You don't wanna dramatically change somebody's look and you also wanna make sure you, it's fine tuned enough that you get the exact look that you're going for. So on him, he actually already has a nice chiseled look and he has some squared offness to his um, cheek and his chin, but his jawline back here is in his defined. So what we're gonna try and do is just at this 90 degree angle, give him a little bit of volume to square off this look here and then widen slightly the chin. It's already projected nicely, but just give it a little bit more of a wider look so that in this area here, in this area there, we fill that in slightly. And that's really it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. We can do other things long term, whether it's internal tightening to tighten up the skin here, uh, implant. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could do to really square off this area, but just a little bit of filler can go a long way. And we're gonna use a filler called Bellafill today. <clears throat> And this filler has um, beads in it that produce collagen long term. The reason I like this in actually younger males, you produce a lot of collagen from this. So you're gonna get a long term improvement. And what's important is you just go slow. You don't wanna do too much at once. Bring your arms in just a sec because I'm gonna kind of reach over you. You just wanna go real slow with the injection point so that, um, you know, feel a little pinch that you, when you pl place this product, you just do little bits at a time. We call it micro droplet injections when we do acne scars. And when we do sort of implant like this, we just do small depots. And what this will do is over time, it will build out collagen here. Similarly, in the shaping where we would almost like if we did an implant. So we just do small aliquots of the filler and he's gonna see sort of an instant result from this because there's a collagen carrier. But what happens with this long term is it really builds out collagen. So he's going to get a long term outcome that's gonna build. So that's actually why, look up a little bit more, I wanna see the angle of your jaw. That's also why we try and do this small amounts over time. Great. So another one. Thank you. So I'm going to switch sides. So you can already see a little bit more bold, a little bit more elong, a little bit more widened. I'm going to move to this side. Sorry guys. Switching me. Thank you. Turn to me a little bit. Good. We're just following along the bone. Go nice and slow. Not the best feeling in the world, but we try and go at least a little slow and we'll ice in a second. And again, the big thing is he will see an improvement right now, but the biggest improvement will come in the next month or two as things start to build. Turn a little to the right. There you go. Perfect. So now, let's take a look. Great. Look straight for a sec. So we always just soften the area. Now we have the proper projection, but now we have a little bit more width giving him that sort of masculine look. It may be that we only need maybe one more or two in the rest of the time period, and then we just watch it build. Um, that's, that did really well. Now we're gonna turn a little this way, and we're gonna start the process of building out a little bit on the jaw. So, so you can- these, this filler actually lasts five to 10 years. So this is a long acting filler, which is why we do small amounts of it at a time. 
what we're trying to do for him here is give him more squaring off of the back of his jaw. Build collagen here long term and give a little more width to this posterior part of his jaw. We inject this a little deeper so that the collagen will produce. But we've had great results with this. Um, and again, the key is a long-term relationship because we just want to make sure that we build this properly. So we can feel her bite down a second so I can feel good. So you can see where his muscle is. No, that would be more for Botox injections for the muscle itself. This is actually giving him shaping, not as much uh, muscular change. This is to shape this area and give him more width and kind of more masculine look. Well, I think the most popular treatment is really Botox and laser hair removal for men. But I think fillers are becoming really popular, and not just fillers to fill lines or hollows. They're more for shaping and contouring, which is what he's doing. And literally, I mean, he'll have a, you know, like a little, maybe a bruise, maybe not, but almost no downtime. I mean, how bad was the pain? Not bad at all. Was it okay? Yeah, very tolerable. Good. So I'm going to wipe off. I'm going to just show you a little bit right now what we did. And then again, it's not going to be a huge change immediately, but it's going to be more long term. Perfect. Good. Go ahead and show him. So our idea here was to, back here, give a little bit of a squared off here, and we'll slowly build this up. You give a little bit of a right there, a little bruise, yeah. and then widening this slightly and projecting that slightly. Now, no more projection will be needed once that settles down because there's some swelling there. We'll eventually do a little bit more there and that's it. Right. The rest we'll do is more building out in the back here because this area here is where you're going to get more of the square off look of the jaw. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it's going to look awesome. Mm -hmm. And once it settles in, you know, there's needle pokes, there's a little bit of bruising and stuff like that. It'll look fine. Even in probably a few hours, it will. So now he'll ice pack, and that's it. And then we'll build over time. We can do it in a few weeks. We can do it in a few months. Whatever you want. His chin is probably almost done, but the jawline will continue to build. So that's facial sculpting in a male for jawline and chin. Yeah, just ice the jaw. Because it always tends to want to bruise.